and you need somebody to test the water. And once the company know you're going to be testing the water, uh, they would less be apt to put something in the water. Two, uh, get a dog or a cat and put the water down. They don't drink it and something's wrong with it. See, a dog or a cat, and, and this is the, the, problem, the problem with Jimmy Jones. When they said Jimmy Jones and the people was drinking the Kool-Aid with the cyanide in it and the cats and the dogs was dead, a dog would not drink straight Kool-Aid, less long Kool-Aid with cyanide in it, okay? If you take water out the tap and put it for a dog or a cat, they will walk around it, not just so happen chlorine and fluorine as a gas, all gas move to a higher level. And so there's a period when the, when the dog or the cat will come and drink the water. But I would say drink, don't drink the steel water unless you're on a fast, because the steel water will rob your body of minerals. Don't drink mineral water, because mineral water is radioactive. But spring water is the water to drink. That's number one. The body's 97% liquid, and out of that, it's 85% water. Alzheimer's disease come from lack of drinking water. The lower back problems we have come from lack of drinking water. Gallstones and kidney stones come from lack of drinking water. And then again, if someone come and told you to drink clean water, even if what they said was wrong, if it didn't do nothing for you, it's not gonna do nothing against you. You have not put anything in your body that would create any type of problem. Number two, physical fitness. And, and we as African Americans have to stop looking at physical fitness as some game. We have to stop looking at it as some age, as some sex. Every black person, regardless of how old they are or how young they are, babies get there. They move around in the crib, they you know, do their thing. And so we got drinking water, physical fitness, and sleep. And I, if I had to rearrange that, I would probably put sleep first. Rest. One of the big horrors, particularly in the black community, happens all over, is lack of rest. The body. The brain, 90 minutes after the sun go down, the radiation belt in the atmosphere do a flip-flop. And it recharges the brains. And all the sleep you get after midnight don't count. That's what the story of Cinderella's about. And so for those of you out there that's listening to me, try it. And usually, you say seven days. Let me tell you how you drink your water. When you start drinking water, when you're not used to drinking water, you're gonna go to the bathroom a lot if you have a job, and God didn't leave leeway for jobs. You know, Jesus Christ is God's son. <laughs> Jesus didn't work. You know, if you look at all the rich, rich, super rich people, Prince Charles, they never had a job. And Queen Elizabeth, I don't think she even know how to spell it. You know, and I believe every day, if you went to Buckingham Palace and took every dictionary they had, I do not believe they put the word job in there or work. And so when you, you look and say, well, I can't do this because I have to work, that's, uh, the universe will not bend over for you. Now, you get up in the morning, the minute you get up, you drink a glass of water. If you're not driving over long periods of time where you're gonna need to go to the toilet, drink two glasses of water. When you get to wherever you're going, between that time and 11 o'clock, drink two more. Now, you got the rest of the day to drink the other four. Now, here's a simple law. Would a, would a, a six-month-old baby <laughs> drink eight glasses of water? No. Mothers give babies water by ounces, X amount of ounces. Well, the real game is we just say eight, eight ounce glasses of water. Whatever you weigh in pounds, you're supposed to drink half that in ounces. If you weigh 200 pounds, you're supposed to drink 50, 100 ounces of water. If you weigh 1,000 pounds, you're supposed to drink 500 ounces of water. Now, let me tell you how water works. If I held up, if this was a piece of cloth and I held it here, and I gave you a sharp hatchet, and you hit this cloth, you would tear it. If I put this cloth in a bathtub of water and you hit it, you couldn't tear it. It floats with the water. The body's the same way. If you fall, if you're injured, if you're in an automobile accident, if you this is why babies can fall out windows. We read about it all the time. And don't die, because the water balance is there. Okay, and rest, rest. Even when you're not sleeping, rest, rest. Rest. And when I'm talking about rest, I'm not talking about on the phone talking. I'm talking about taking some time out every day where you just close the system down. Minute, five minutes, ten minutes, just close it down. And that rejuvenates the body. And so now we're talking about sleep and rest. We're talking about water and we're talking about physical fitness. Now, 
Jogging is not physical fitness. Weightlifting is not physical fitness. Physical fitness is first your heel got to touch the ground. So if you're on a bicycle, that don't count. If you're walking up steps, that don't count. The heel got to touch the ground. If you're running, what is running? When both your feet is off the ground at the same time, it could be one tenth billionth of a second that's running. Now what happens then? Because of gravity pull, anytime both your feet is off the ground at the same time, which is called running, when your legs, when your feet hit, it sends two and a half times your body's weight up your legs to your knees, up to the spine, and sends shock waves to the brain, which damage it. And so walking, walking. Now, walking in the evening don't count. In the morning, when you lay down in bed and go to sleep, the, the grease in your bloodstream comes up to the top. If you go out and walk vigorously, don't start off that way. But you have to walk to the point that you're just tired and sweating and all you push all that out. Now, what you will notice if, well, even joggers, if joggers go out and run, the day they take off, they get very irritable around 10 o'clock. That's when that grease starts moving back into the bloodstream. And so the three things is rest. And, 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 and you see, one of the great tricks, and it's funny, everybody, got everybody working two jobs except the people that control. They don't work two jobs, three jobs, four jobs, a job and something on the side. It's not about that. Show me somebody that has two jobs. I'll show you somebody that has no money at all. I mean, that's the game they play. I mean, some kind of way we have to redo our priorities and we have to say, wait to the system. It's, you know, it's about my health. It's about my love, it's about my kindness, it's about my gentleness. And those three things, you see a difference in seven days. Now, how do you get into the physical fitness? Well, I can't do it, I got a bad leg, didn't walk bad. If I told you there was $20 million worth of gold over there, and every morning if you walk two miles, you could get it, bad leg folks, everybody be out there walking. So <clears throat> what do you have to do is start slow. Start five minutes. Uh, and then after a week or three days, the problem you have, someone hear this and say, he's right, I got to do it. Then they go out and hog it, and something breaks and don't. You know, when you get through, then do your physical fitness. Do your physical fitness. Uh, I say to people who haven't trained, you out there that's 80 years old, 60, 40, been out of high school 20 years, haven't been physical, stand in the mirror when you do your physical fitness naked. Why did I say naked? See, if you had clothes on, you're doing physical thing, you hear something go zoop, you say, oh, I tore my shirt. If you're naked and hear something go zoop, you know that's you. And the minute you feel something, that's God saying stop. Stop. It heal. The minute you feel it, stop. Don't push it. And once that heals, go back. And, 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 and that's all I can say. Water, physical fitness, and rest. And if you said four, it'd be the diet. Uh, it's very important. And when we talk about water, Kool-Aid don't count, lemonade don't count, orange juice don't count, fresh grapefruit juice don't count. Why? Because they have to go through the digestive system. Water goes directly into the system and starts purifying the system. And also it cools, it cools the body. It's your cooling system. One of the problems we have, you know, can you imagine every year, every cell in your body, your brain has a convention, check you out. Say, well, what's old brother Greg doing this year? Say, well, you know, he's 15 years old and he's drinking too much Kool-Aid and he's not drinking enough water. Say, okay, uh, let's give him a warning. Let's put thirst. Where are we gonna put it? Well, he got to be kind of stupid, so let's put it right in his throat. And we ignore it, and we ignore it. And then when you get about 60 years old, some people, 49, 50, they come every year and have this meeting. They say, well, what do you think? I say, well, let's take his right to get thirsty away. There's no need wasting the time. That's where Alzheimer's disease. And if you don't believe it, find people with Alzheimer's disease and ask them, when's the last time you've been thirsty? And they can't tell you. You lose that right. If I'm limping and limping and limping, I ran from Los Angeles, California to New York City. I averaged 50 miles every day for 71 days. And I thought I had trained for it, except what I didn't know is you don't run on the highway, you run on the side of the highway. So there's gravel over there. So now I have to be very careful running on gravel, and I developed a whole new set of muscles up here.